Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Tutorial 37 and we all know what that one is. This is where we're going to try and build a game together and hopefully learn a few things on the way. Now, we were thinking of uh, just programming it straight off the bat but I wanted to um, give the impression of doing it in the bedroom when we were youngsters with the the home computer and be a bedroom coder. So the modern day equivalent was the Raspberry Pi and the modern day language instead of Commodore Basic would have been Python. Well it's Python, not would have been. And so this we've already set up the Raspberry Pi to work on the network and got all the bits and everything and set up share. This one is to set up the development environment on the, the Raspberry Pi. And we're gonna we're gonna install VS Code, but I don't know if we'll use it, but we'll install it anyway and make sure that Python's working. But I'm getting a bit bored with this slide. So from now on Boom. There we go. That's the sort of slide we're going to be using. The official artwork of Hunchback. Yeah, it's a bit risky, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, let's get started, shall we? So I have got... There you go. I've got the Raspberry Pi booted up and I've VNC'd into it. So we're going to do everything inside here. We're not going to cheat and do SSH and stuff like that. We're going to try and do it from inside there. So the whole point of this is to try and give you a working development environment using a Raspberry Pi. You're supposed to be able to do it. So let's do it. And the reason why we're doing it in the Raspberry Pi is to to understand the game mechanics of Hunchback by using Python and using the Pi game extension in Python. And I think it's the best way to understand the game mechanics before we dive into assembly and start messing around with assembly. But we need to set it up first. So you've already got your image um, set up. So you've got your base start. So now here we go. We're going to try and set up a working dev environment and if I've got time uh, we'll do an extra thing as well I think you might guys might like so the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that Pi games installed yeah so I know that Python is installed on all Raspberry Pis so we should be able to see if Pygame is installed and that is sudo python installation packages or something daft like that that's what we call it, poor pip install Pygame press enter there we go I've already got it installed easy peasy lemon squeezy Right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the um, Visual, Code, Visual Studio Code. And you can get that from this URL. So we'll just fire up the browser. And we'll do this. And this is a, a guy that I subscribe to in YouTube, Pi Up My Life. And he's, this website is really, really good if you want to know about other things to do with the pies. Like I've got a pie that for the holiday home that's a router and stuff like that um, he goes into all sorts of things setting up NAS drives, VPN uh, does a bit of Python but in this article we're setting up Visual Studio Code and so he's going through the equipment what you need a Raspberry Pi 2 or 3 uh, need to get to the source code need to get access to Git and all that jazz so this is just talking about Py, um, studio code but here's the important thing so this is where we start so we need to copy these instructions out and paste them in 
to here. Nice and simple. Go. Done. That's one done. We'll do the next one, which is this one. Paste it into the terminal. Go. Now this might take a bit of time, but I'm on my super fast Broadroom Wi-Fi router, so this shouldn't take that long. Wow. Is it downloaded it all already? Wow. Oh, here we go. 60 meg. 14 meg. 30 meg. 40 meg. 50. 60. <laughs> Quick or what, eh? So hopefully... This does a bit of unpacking. Now, while this is unpacking, you don't have to buy a Raspberry Pi if you want to do this. You can download the Raspberry Pi desktop image, which is basically Debian but with all the software that the Raspberry Pi uses. So it's configured in the same way and everything. And what I was thinking was for the guys that, you know, can't afford to get a Raspberry Pi, I don't want to get a Raspberry Pi. I'll do a video where you can set up a virtual machine using that software and get it all set up. So we'll, we'll do all that and uh, we'll get that sorted, all right? But the main part of this is to use the Raspberry Pi by VPN or actually plug a keyboard in it and plug it into a TV and use it properly but we'll use VPN there we go so now we should have a new menu item called there it is now that's Visual Studio Code there you go who'd have thought it so we're going, to ex we're going to add some extensions to this. Now we're not going to add the Python one. Get off. We're not going to add the Python one because this requires um, some um, server extensions and it has a bit of a fit. Um, even though it's the Microsoft one, but it works better on the desktop. So No readme available. Ooh, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it up for everyday use. Yeah. So we're going to set it. We're going to put. Uh, we want a PDF reader. So VS Code PDF. I think that's the one. Yep, yeah, that's the one. So we're going to install that. We're going to install Git Lens. Yep. So that sorts out all our Git stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Doo -doo -doo. Default layout. Thank you. And that's it. I mean, I wish I could install Python, put the Python extension, but it has a few issues. Now we'll install it, we'll install it. You never know. They might uh, fix it by the time we get to doing it. Let that install. Go.
Cool, that's taking some time. Didn't think it was that big. Oh, it's updating. Did you see that? Flashed up updating. Well, while that's doing that, remember this book that I talked about on Twitter? Well, this is the official uh, Raspberry Pi gaming book, right? And you can buy this. I bought it. But you can also download it. So if you go to uh, the Ras, if you go to the Raspberry Pi website, let's get this down here. Right, so RaspberryPi.org. Uh, oh, it's not that, is it? It's Magpie.cc. There we go. Magpie.cc. Click on books. In fact, I better write that down. Enter magpie.cc. So I'll put it in the description. Yeah. Click on books, and there it is. And so this is where you can buy it. Yeah. 164 pages of absolute fun, and basically it teaches you how to build classic retro games using Pi Game. So you can either buy it or it's a free download. So click on free download and then download it. And what it does, it's going to te go through certain things from making game cabinets and C64s with a Raspberry Pi in it to proper games. So Pi Invaders, Scrambled Cat, Hungry Man, which is basically Pac-Man in not. And if you click on there, so this is Pi Invaders 2. Look, there's links here. And if you click on it, it takes you to the source code look. And you can download the source code. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to leave that there so we can get back to it. Let's see if it's finished. Yep, so it requires a reload. Sorted. Right, let's see if we can let's see if we can open a file or folder. Let's open a folder. Here we go. Right, so documents, we're in the share. So it's Pi Game Zero, and we're going to go with Invaders. Okay. There you go. So it's come back with Invaders 2. So it's recognized it's a Python file look. So I wonder if it's gonna run. Let's see, run, go. Look <laughs> at this. <laughs> okay, uh, enter my name. It's left and right and space is fire. Excellent. Right, so let's come out of that. Uh, don't show me that again. Got it. So ignore these um, errors. But this is Python. Ignore these because I think that uh, I, I don't. I, I think we need to install a Pi game extension. Let's see if we can find. See if there's a Pi game extension. There's snippets, but I don't think it's an extension. install that now but it looks like there is one so that will we'll look at it later all right so let's go back to the there we go so this is Python and it's literally it's very it's it's basic like 
Now we can use Visual Studio. I mean, it's coming up with a lot of errors because it doesn't. I don't think it understands the Pi Pi game mechanics. But let's close that and minimise that. But there is an inbuilt Python IDE. Here we go. Already it loaded up, and see, there's no errors. But it's not as nice looking, and it doesn't have Git integration. So we'll have to figure that out. But it'll just the same thing. So you do run. There you go. Pi game. Off you go. Press enter. Oh. Same things. Pew. Pew. And also, it's got. Um, if I load, so I think there's a Pac-Man on here as well. Pi Zero, Pac-Man 2, Pac-Man. There we go. So, stop, run. You know Pac-Man. And so, we can use this to work out our game mechanics. And I think it would be great if we could see if Pac-Man works in here. Open folder. Pac-Man. Okay. Yeah, Pac-Man. So it's worked out as a Python file. Uh, yeah, we know about that. Uh, don't show me that again. Right. I think it's F5. Go. Yep, it runs. And so we can use Python as our, our base point to work out the mechanics of Hunchback. So that's basically setting it up. We've got Git installed. Yep, Git's installed, no repository found. And because we ain't created a, a repo on there, uh, we're not to, it's not gonna work. So, the bonus thing is, seeing as a VS Code can work on here, I wonder if we can make a C64 development environment as well using VS Code and Kick, which is what we're going to be using Hunchback. So we could actually develop the game on the Raspberry Pi as well. Well, it turns out we can. Because if I do this, because Java already comes on the Raspberry Pi, it's version 11, look. Version 11. And Kick works with version 11. So, let's see if we can get hold of Kick. So, Kick. There we go. So, we'll download it. There what's got. So, we'll create on my documents, we'll create another one. I'm not going to leave it in. I'll create another one. So we'll call this uh, assemb assemblers assemble assemb can't spell assemblers. Create another one. Another folder called kick. Right. It's going to downloads extract here. Grabbed a lot, cut, paste it into there. Right, so we should be able to get in there. So cd docs, cd sem, yeah, cd assemblers, cd kick. There we go, so we should be able to go Java 
minus jar kick ass dot jar. Well, there we go. <laughs> right. Now, we've got that. Can we grab... I wonder if we... Can we install... Um, Vice. Well, first we need some prerequisites. So we need to do this. Now, I'll put this in the description. So we need to do that. So, yes, please. So these are all the prerequisites that Vice needs. There's a load of them. Oh, I can't be bothered going in. <laughs> waiting for headers? What do you mean waiting for headers? Oh, right, okay. Right, so it's unpacking. Right, done. Don't know how long that was, but it felt like forever. Right, now we need to grab hold of Vice, but we can't download. Can't download the program because it doesn't exist on a Raspberry Pi. We have to download the source. So we're going to try and download 3.1. So I've just put the URL in. Hopefully that should take us straight to the source. Yeah, whatever. Here we go, it's downloading. So 29 meg. Looks like it's done it. There we go. So CD backslash downloads. There it is. And then we need to unzip it. So all these commands are going to be in. So I'm going to do that, but I need to change that to one. Press enter. So this is all the source code for Vice. Test case MP3. All right. So we need to CD into it, Vice. Oh, it's little v. Set. Now we need to compile it, but first we need to get it to be configured. So we need to type this in. Press enter. Now this is where it goes horribly, horribly wrong. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, okay. Looks like we're on a winner. Right then. Right. Now I'm going to fast forward this because this is going to take a while. But the command is make. Enter. Starting at 20.08. Here we go. Boom. This is going to take a while, so I'll fast forward it for you.
Right, well there you go, 20 minutes later, and it's done. It's compiled it all. Now on the Raspberry Pi 3, just to give you an idea, that took 55 minutes on that. And I thought that was impressive, the size of the software. Right, so now we need to install it. So it's sudo make install. Here we go again. Hopefully this won't be so long. Well, that seemed to, was quick. Well, let's hope it did it. Next thing we need to do is we need to, we need to copy all the ROMs across. So we're doing sudo cp, which is copy, minus vr, which is recursive, I think. Uh, download vice data for everything, and we put it into local lib vice. Here we go. Well, seems to have done it. Do we have any pointers? We didn't install any icons. Okay. Let's fire one of them up. Let's see if we can fire it up. So it would have been X64, wouldn't it? Pulse. Did it save it? Save settings. Okay, let's try that again. X64. Ah, right. We have. Right, let's sort this out. Where's video? I don't want that, I want that, there we go, that's better. Save the settings. Right. Let's exit. Right. So the last thing we need to do is does kick work? Right, let's close that folder. Let's get the extension for kick. I think it's that one. Yes, it is. Get that installed. Going to settings, because we need to change the, change the settings. Oh. Right. Settings, extensions, kick. Right, we ain't got debugger, so we'll leave that. Java should be right. Kickass, right, we need the path for kickass. Which is there. And vice debug run we no no we turn that off right that should be set so let's do it shall we let's see if we can do one right new file right let's uh, let's get some demo code 
Just go on my website. My forum. So, assembly and code. Kickass code. There's my select all. Copy. Let's paste that straight into there. There we go. So we should change this to kick. There we go. File, save as. So we'll just put it anywhere, put it in my documents. And it's hello world. Right. If this works, we should be able to do Control Shift P and then kick and it's build and run. Control F5. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. Now, how about that? Video, two for the price of one setting it up for python and now we can in we can develop c64 games on it as well using the kickass assembler how cool is that right i think that was a successful video seeing as the last one was an absolute disaster <laughs> no uh, you didn't see that one this is me doing it again after doing my research this time Right, so we're all set up, ready for Hunchback. What I'm going to do is I'll do a video about the desktop, um, the Raspberry Pi desktop. So for all those people that don't have, uh, they're not going to buy a Raspberry Pi, you'll still be able to follow along using the desktop, and I'll do a video about setting that up. All right, so if you like what I do, hit that like button. If you don't like what I do, fine, hit the dislike button. Always leave me a comment as I try and answer them all. And if you like what I do and like to contribute, consider becoming a patron of mine. All the money raised by patron is used for this channel. And with that, I will say see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye. I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.